Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Stomer. Let's talk mountain weather and uh, ski conditions. And boy, do we have a great stretch of snow coming across the west. It's kind of a two-storm cycle, as I said yesterday, with uh, the back end followed, the back end being a northwest flow pattern and much colder. And uh, there are going to be some areas that just benefit hugely from this in the interior. And we'll talk all about it. Uh, I've also got a watch list up right here. Call it the Tomer watch list, if you will. Um, I would watch between Wednesday and Saturday and Sunday, uh, Alta, Snowbird, Jackson Hole, Big Sky, Vail, Breck, Loveland, and Steamboat for some of the biggest totals across the Intermountain West as this thing gets cranking. Um, I, I'd say a general one to three feet would be common at most of these places that I have on the uh, the watch list so let's just uh, let's get into this we'll do the uh, the satellite radar analysis here and again uh, what we're waiting for there's a low pressure sitting right off the coast of uh, california and that is what will initially head into the interior and begin to set the storm track and move with the jet stream and that uh, let me show you that with the jet stream because this is going to be so important to uh, really where the heavy uh, the biggest aura graphics are going to set up and look at this jet streak moving through colorado this is thursday at 4 30 in the morning so you're cranking out snowfall in the mountains of colorado i-70 and north big time and this these will be the two biggest events that we've seen in this entire winter in Colorado, adding up snowfall. We haven't had much snow in Colorado except for Wolf Creek, but these two storms will be big for I-70 and North. So that's the first. Now watch on the back side of this. By the time we roll the clock ahead into the future, and I'd say the big war graphics come into play Thursday night, Friday, and Saturday. Look at this jet stream. <laughs> it's like a big slide in the atmosphere, right? So we're gonna have a cold Northwest flow pattern that will rock and roll all the way down through Big Sky, Jackson Hole, into the Wasatch, and into Colorado's central and northern mountains. Our future radar looks like this. So while it is dry right now, things start to move, and by the time we're into Wednesday, it is snowing. It is snowing in Jackson Hole, it's snowing in Sun Valley, Big Sky, all the way down the Wasatch, just starting to see it, and it really settles in. And then again, this is the first initial storm, and then it moves into Colorado. We're gonna have snow Wednesday into Thursday in Colorado. Thursday will be a powder day in the mountains of Colorado and behind it we start to see the northwest flow establish itself on the back side the powerful jet uh, reorients itself and we'll start to see the powerful winds take over the colder air will be diving in and this is really when we start to see the fun take shape and you can see the snow begin and what we're doing is we're pushing some pretty dense cold fast moving air uh, into the peaks and we're bumping that air up and creating some lift into the atmosphere and uh, watch as uh, we move this into Saturday morning as that snow begins to ride over the top of the Wasatch and down into Colorado. So we add snow right there. Uh, that is Saturday morning, and that would be the case, which we may linger in some of these places through Saturday night and even into Sunday morning. And there may be another northwest flow behind that for parts of Wyoming and Montana into early next week. So there's your Sunday morning. That's going to be a big powder day across a lot of the west as the skies start to clear in some of these areas. So snowfall will do this in stages. By the time we get into Wednesday morning, we're just starting to see that snow move into uh, the interior. Uh, Thursday morning, we're gonna look at some big totals. It's gonna be a good day there across the west. Uh, some of those uh, nice totals there um, through the Intermountain uh, West. And then by the time we get into uh, Friday, uh, the numbers continue to uh, tick up across a lot of these places. Uh, this is Friday morning right here. And by Saturday morning, I mean, we're working on one, two, maybe even three feet in, in a lot of these areas. Look at those numbers. Doesn't that look good? By Saturday morning through um, Jackson Hole, Big Sky. Look at Bridger doing well at this. And the numbers I have for the Wasatch are conservative. I've got three snow plumes I wanna show you for the high end stuff. These would be sort of low end to medium as far as totals, but look at Colorado. We're working on two feet, a lot of those areas by Saturday morning. And then as we approach, I'm gonna run this all the way out to, in fact, Sunday morning. So you can kind of see that we may add just a little bit more, especially up to the, um, especially up to the north through parts of Wyoming and Montana. You can see some of those numbers. So again, these would be the most likely low end to conservative amounts. If we were to take a look at what is truly possible through some of these areas, Notice Alta Snowplume just goes sky high between 
Wednesday and Thursday. I mean, we're talking about the potential for a couple of feet right there at uh, Alta and Snowbird. And then as the northwest flow comes through between Friday, Saturday, we could add even more snow and be off the charts by the time we roll into the weekend. So, I mean, we're just looking at some really good potential there across uh, Alta, Snowbird. In fact, the Wasatch Solitude Brighton would also be in for quite a bit of snow. Let's check out, and I don't usually do all three, but we'll do three today. Let's take a look at uh, Steamboat and also Jackson Hole. So, Steamboat is an interesting one. Once that uh, the initial storm comes through, we'll have a fair amount of snow, but then as the northwest flow comes in, we're going to add even more. So, between Wednesday and Thursday, I think a foot of snow is definitely possible up in Steamboat, 10 to 12 inches. But then that number continues to go up as the northwest flow rocks and rolls. I mean, we could be up at 2 feet, 25, 30 inches by the time we get into Saturday, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night with that northwest flow continuing to just bump snow up over the high peaks into those areas. What about Jackson Hole? Well, Jackson Hole is kind of in a similar boat with consistent snow all the way basically from uh, Tuesday night, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and even into Sunday, you can see how initially I think a foot is possible between Wednesday and Thursday morning. Great skiing there on Thursday. And then a little bit of a lull, but then the northwest flow will kick in, and I think between Friday and Saturday and even Sunday, maybe even into Monday, I think that flow pattern will uh, add some nice lift over the top of the Tetons, and we could be talking about two feet or more or more in Jackson Hole. So, yeah, I think things look really good at this point, and I'll keep it uh, keep a close eye on this. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and get uh, get things ready for a powder weekend.